not even home, man. Jesus Christ, man. Where are they? Maybe they've um, gone to shower or something. <laughs> I thought for sure I'd catch them at 6. 6.10. I, uh, I thought that Han would be up early, but she's not. Damn, bro. I thought for sure I would catch them. Anyway, we'll just have to come back. This stray dog. Sneaking my leg. <laughs> All right, um, we're just in the middle of nowhere with uh, no one up or no one that we can contact, so that ain't grand, but uh. I'll just take this opportunity to talk about uh, the characters, the so-called characters. Um, back pun, you know, she's gotten a lot of grief in the comments. Uh, I think it's a little bit unwarranted because, you know, it's like, Pretty interesting, mate. It's so busy. Early mornings here. But yeah, back pun, um, she's not complete uh, evil, like people say. It's just she's a businesswoman, so she's going to always have her eyes on the profits. Um, so that entails being a little bit self serving, but I think that's a far stretch to go from that to accuse her, accuse her of a whole host of other crimes. Um, as for the mother, yeah, a lot of people are going off on the mother for being ungrateful, etc. But, you know, come on, she's, she's a nut, you know. You can't apply the same standards you apply to normal people with the nuts. So when they lash out or whatever, just got to take it in stride. Um, as for the incident where she allegedly, you know, slapped, slapped um, Joanne, I had a look at that in slow motion and she didn't actually even, she barely grazed the chin. It was just more of a um, symbolic thing with the swearing to indicate aggravation rather than actual physical um, um, but uh, what she did say to Joan was kind of heavy like she said something like that's what you get for dreaming of living in a house and you know, that's what you get for um, having hopes Damn, dude, Dave. <laughs> it's becoming a regular stockpile of stuff now. I'm glad that uh, the unicorn's still here. It's still clean. It's so clean. That's the thing about. Well, there's, there are flies, but apart from that, it's so clean. Um, it's going to be awkward walking past this woman with the arm. So just keep looking ahead. But um, yeah, she did say stuff like, 
that's what you get for dreaming, that's what you get for having hopes of living in a house. You are going to be a beggar for life. Um, that's what she told Joanne, so that's not great. Yeah, and that was the first time that I'd actually seen her go off, go off a rocker, but it's uh, understandable, I think, because they harbored dreams of bettering their situation. They thought they were going to get into that place, and then it got snatched from them at the last moment after all the paperwork was done. So, you know, uh, they had a like she had a right to be really disappointed. And some pretty cool lichen. That is, that's pretty scenic, man, isn't it? It's like some postcard stuff that you'd see with an inspirational quote under it. This part of town. Um, yeah, and uh, when I saw the interaction of um, Joanne, like how she reacted to the mother going off about not having dreams um, you've got a place to sleep you've got a place to eat you've got a place to go to school that's all you need don't ever wish for any more in life she said that and the kid was just had her nose buried in the manga <laughs> At the start, it was really annoying how she would just tune out all the time. You know, I'd be talking to her and she'd have her nose stuck in a book. But then, when I saw her mother going off at her and her reacting that way, I learnt that that's the way she learned to cope. I understood that that's the way she's learned to cope with the deranged ramblings of her mother is to tune out, completely tune out. Um, uh, Leary style, man. Drop in and tune out or whatever. Yeah, this town, it would be beautiful if it wasn't for this backdrop of crazy drama man like if you could just enjoy the the aesthetics it's it's actually pretty um damn beautiful i mean they need to fix this road obviously but the backdrop the mountains the misty mountains especially at this time of day it's majestic look at that I'm not sure the camera picks it all up, but uh, there's some decent backdrop. Although, um, a lot of the people that live in these areas, they don't really appreciate the, the nature, I guess, because I remember when we went to Yingbai to visit the orphan, um, I was saying to the cop, the lady cop, that you know, the landscape here is magnificent. I was saying this place is so beautiful and she said what this place um, what's so beautiful about it because I guess uh, you know they're so used to it and because it is rather poor most of these areas most of the really scenic rural areas they're also poor the people there they uh, maybe are kind of sick of it they don't appreciate the aesthetics that a stranger to the town would. Just goes to show that ancient Asian saying is probably true. You know, the bamboo is always greener on the other side. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Được mấy cái chỗ này chỉ được chỗ nãy chuẩn bị đi ấy.
Nó ra được hù luôn mà Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn